it down into several categories we're going to start off with the jump shot and then the drop shot and then some sliding techniques and some advanced sliding techniques like the slide cancel for example and as well as some other maneuvering tips that will help you get across the map or mantle on top of objects a lot faster kicking things off let's start off with the settings that you need to be running right now so for me personally i'm using tactical flipped so my r3 is going to be my crouch prone and slide this is very essential to my personal setup uh, you may have it on default or you might have it on bumper jumper or stick and move you know either or it doesn't really matter all the movement tips that i'm about to show you they're all pretty much relevant to whatever setup you have now the next thing that's really important that you need to set is your slide behavior to tap this is also very important no questions asked you gotta have it on tap the first thing i do want to talk about is going to be the jump shot so this one is really simple basically you pretty much just you know hit the jump button and while you're aiming in you know you want to practice doing this at the same time you don't want to do this all the time the best times to do it is when you know there's an opponent and you're coming out of a building or you're jumping around the corner this will absolutely break the opponent's camera they won't see you come in and it will give you that split second of an advantage so for example if i'm coming around this corner i'm going to jump around here and i'm already going to be pre-aimed in right before i land so i'm going to come around jump bam pre-aim so this is a lot better than just casually running around the corner and pre-aiming just like that as you can see now again you don't want to do this all the time you want to do this depending on the situation so here i go again bam so one thing i like to do specifically on this map is that even if i don't know there's enemies on the outside of the building i like to do this anyway just for good measure just to make myself a harder target to hit so what i do is i come sprinting out here and i come out and i pre-aim and jump at the same time and trust me your opponents are not going to expect this at all it's very effective i mean look how far that i i jumped out of here uh, you know versus just casually walking out and doing this you know it's just way too predictable and jumping out of a building definitely makes you a harder target to hit jump shotting definitely is a good technique and you got to do whatever it takes to win those gunfights especially with how fast the time to kill in this game is you definitely want to give yourself a slight competitive advantage all right so the next thing that i do want to talk about is the drop shot i've been doing the drop shot since modern warfare 2 this has been a proven effective way to win those gunfights especially when you're surprised by enemies that you didn't know were there it's very great it's a good little last resort thing to just give yourself a bit of a chance to win that gunfight and i personally find myself using it mostly around corners again because this is the unpredictable you know you don't know if there's an enemy on the other side of the corner i mean how many times have we been surprised by seeing an enemy standing right here and we're coming around the corner and boom they're like literally right in your face you know those are one of the best times to do it so for example i'm going to come around this corner and then boom i'm surprised i just dropped down to the floor so for me i would be pressing down on that r3 button or the right stick i like the fact that the crouch button is completely located on my thumb so my thumb doesn't need to leave the controller in order to perform this maneuver so every time i come around the corner bam just drop down really quick just like that so again you want to get used to doing this of course you want to get used to aiming in and dropping now another situation would be in a confrontational head-to-head -head type of gunfight just drop down just like that boom take them out all right so the next thing that i want to talk about is the slide technique now i've been preaching to slide around your corners or slide between gaps of objects because number one it helps you be more evasive and number two again it breaks the opponent's camera now what i mean by camera is their point of view so it, it's kind of like a glitch i guess but not really but basically you know if i were to just you know walk around the corner just like this it's really not as fast and it's predictable they can hear your footsteps and they're going to be ready to be pre-aiming and then fire in on you when they hear you but if i were to slide around the corner just like this it's less of a predictable movement and it will definitely give you that upper hand in those gunfights you can even slide into a drop shot just like this so it doesn't look like much on my screen but trust me like when you're in a match and you do this to people you're definitely going to win those gunfights more often than not and the cool thing about the slide is that you can actually control how far you want to slide and that's what i want to get into next so right now i want to teach this in a progressive type of system because this is about to be an advanced movement that not a lot of people know about that pros actually do the first thing you want to do is you want to get into a double sprint and then once you're at the peak of your sprint you want to slide right so practice doing this first get a couple reps in get used to the movement 
and it's gonna feel a little awkward you know if you're especially if you're not used to this or you're using a new button layout but trust me you are going to get used to it and it's going to become second nature practice makes perfect so just practice doing this first so once you get this down the next thing you want to do is click that right thumbstick down once again so basically double sprint and then slide and then slide so that's what you want to do so i'm going to double sprint slide slide bam see how i just stopped my movement and i'm in line with this building right here i can basically control how far i want to slide so for example if i wanted to stop on a dime right here in this corner and i'm coming in from this side i'm going to double sprint i'm going to slide bam right there i stopped so let's do it without the double slide see how far i drifted off from the original spot that i wanted to stop at so that's also something that you need to practice right now is slide slide double sprint slide slide double sprint slide slide double sprint slide slide so let's say like there's an opponent like right here right and you want to catch him by surprise you definitely want to give yourself a good advantage in this gunfight come around this corner boom just like that come around this corner bam just like that see how fast that is bam so like i said it may not look like too much on my point of view but trust me when the enemy sees you it's already too late they're not going to be able to adjust their aim it essentially breaks their aim assist because you're moving so fast you're unexpected they don't even have time to react and that's why a lot of pros do this move because it gives them that advantage so you want to get used to sliding around corners just like that all right so now let's move on to the third step to this slide cancel maneuver so uh basically we're going to do all of the above but now we're going to aim in first and then we're going to use our jump button so we're going to double sprint slide slide aim in and then the jump button so whatever your jump button is all right so let's try it out here we go just like that so you want to just run around the map and continue doing this so this essentially skips the whole aim down sight process i mean look how fast i'm bringing that weapon up and this is very helpful especially when you're trying to go around corners as i was just saying and it'll give you that competitive advantage you know this is why pros do this movement just like that all right so now i want to show you this really cool sliding technique right here especially when you're going downstairs this is really effective let's say that there's enemies chasing after you you're weak and you just want to get to safety as fast as possible or you're just trying to maneuver around the map as fast as possible this is something that you can do instead of just running down the stairs just like this I want you guys to double sprint and then slide down the stairs such as this right here. You go down the stairs so much faster that split second that this advantage gives you could mean, you know, the difference between you surviving and you actually just, you know, dying to whatever situation you're trying to get out of. So piggybacking off of the last tip, slide off of objects. You know, sliding off of objects definitely helps you get around the map a lot faster as well. You know, don't just, you know, run off of it like that. But instead, I want you to slide like right off the edge of it. I right, saw so one broken technique and I actually got this from Apathy. He's a pro player. Basically, he found a way how to skip the whole animation of climbing up one box just like that and then climbing onto the crate. Instead, you skip this whole entire thing. So uh, hopefully I can get this right on the first time. You definitely want to double sprint. And for me, I found that like aiming my crosshairs right above the box or right there allows me to skip that animation just like that as you can see that was like super fast i might have to instant replay that if i can't get it again it's going to take a lot of practice just like that man that was so smooth it's it's super broken man you guys gotta try it out maybe you can even do it from the side view so it, let's say instead of just doing this i can skip that whole process just like that as you can see i skipped this part right here and i just went straight up there man that was way too easy all right so one final broken mechanic that i want to show you guys is the unlimited double sprint yes that's right so pretty much this is your standard double sprint right here as you can see it lasts less than three seconds you know and it's not that great you know it's not that effective so in order to perform this maneuver you have to
So yeah, guys, that's about all the tips that I want to share with you guys. Remember, you don't want to jump shot and drop shot and slide just anywhere on the map. It's strictly situational. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.